Thanks for checking out my micro drawings channel. Get you a look at my setup here. There's the camera holder, my Ot light, Copic sketch markers that I'll use today, scratch paper, and there's my paper. It's a Canson 100 pound smooth XL. And I'll be drawing Linus today. He's ready to play some baseball. He's got his baseball bat and his baseball cap on. And here I'm starting with his nose. From there, I'll go to his eyes, and his eyes are about even with the middle of his nose up and down. And then on either side of those are these little parentheses type wrinkles that gives him a little emotion. And then from there, I'm sneaking up and adding the hat on him. And from that, I'm bringing down the sides of his forehead. And that'll be used to, you know, make the rounded part of his his chin. Most of the Peanuts or Charlie Brown characters have a pretty circular head. So there goes the bottom of his chin and then his smile on his face. And they pretty much have the face done for Linus. And then adding the far ear that you can't see much of. And they're adding the brim of the cap and the top of the cap. And it seems like the Charlie Brown hats are always big. Um, you know, of course, the brim sticks out, but the back side of the hat sticks out uh, probably a fourth of the way or a fifth of the, the head width, too. So there's his little neck, a little shadow there on the neck. And then his shirt is basically a triangle. And the bottom of his shirt sleeve is about halfway down on that triangle from top to bottom. And there I'm adding his hand. It's going to be holding the baseball bat. And there goes the baseball bat coming in here with the micro um, micro liner 0 0.03. And there's the baseball bat. It's a little foreshortened, meaning it's pointing towards us a little bit. So it doesn't look as long as the baseball bat normally would. And there's the far arm, just sneaking that in there. And the Charlie Brown characters, they always have shorts on and of course they are very much in tune with fashion and they've got their matching socks so don't forget those in there and then their shoes are always about one and a half times as big as it seems like they should be so they look pretty big and floppy uh, but they, they end up working i guess and there you can see the quarter for scale covers it up easily and here I'm just giving you a different view, uh, backing up a little bit. There you can see that's my pointer or index finger covering that up. And there's a pencil. So again, just letting you see how small that actually is. So now I'm on to the Copic sketch markers. There's the cotton pearl. That'll be for the skin tone here on Linus, on his head and his arms, and a little bit of his legs above his socks. I'm just barely touching the paper. These are alcohol-based markers. And with that Canson uh, smooth 100 weight paper, there's not much tooth to it, so it's not absorbing a lot. Um, I don't really experience much for bleed. I do need to rotate the paper sometimes to get the, the fine tip of that marker right up to where I want it to be. But again, there's great control with these markers and a paper like this. So there I'm just working. And uh, I didn't put the stripes on Linus's shirt yet. I didn't want the black ink to still be a little wet when I was adding the red so it'd smudge. So I'm just waiting till the end and then I'll use that uh, fine micro liner again to uh, multi liner. I think, man, I'm goofing up on that. Sorry, guys. Uh, there goes the bat color and then the shoes. And pretty much done. There I'm going to add on the stripes. Yes, the horizontal stripes evenly there. And then adding today's date, June 16th of 2021. Again, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and share if you haven't. And uh, feel free to leave comments below on what you'd like to see me draw next. Have a great day.